this is probably the last Lakewood HVA team comparison video I'm going to do for a while. Um, I've already compared this Lakewood and that Lakewood to the 1970s one. Um, right now I want to compare the newest one, the last one they made, to the 90s versions. Uh, and I have several of these 1990s ones. Um, I've got ones that are from the early to mid 90s like this one. Um, I have another one that looks exactly the same as this except it has a Samsung motor instead of this uh, Macmillan motor. And the Samsung motor is uh, a bit more efficient even though they're both PSC. This is rated at 2.4 amps. The uh, Samsung motor is rated at 1.7 amps. So just a little comparison there and I have uh, late 90's versions of these as well with you know the one with the Pepsi style badge and uh, the industrial commercial version so I've got several of these 1990's HV18's um, and they're all mo pretty much all of them have the Macmillan motor and they're all like 2.4 amps so th that's why th I think this one pretty much represents all of the 90's ones I might do a comparison with the uh, with the Pepsi badge or the industrial commercial one just because that's more of a late 90s style but um, for now I think this covers most of those and then this is the newest one that I have it's also the last one they made so um, yeah, this is going to be our comparison this time so we'll start off with the uh, let's start off with the newer one this is, like I said, the last one they ever made. It has a 0.9 amp PSC motor, which you wouldn't think would be sufficient, but it actually is. Um, this thing does blow a decent amount of air. It's not terrible by any means. Uh, obviously, it's not as sturdy as the old one, but it's you know it's not bad or anything. It's not flimsy. I actually like this more than that new uh, Patton that black one that I got a few, quite a few years back um, so I think this is built better <clears throat> you can see it's not very thick and the blades they have pitch but they're not like extreme or anything it's not not all that impressive as far as the pitch is concerned but it does the job um, there's a side view of the motor the capacitor it is a three-speed fan. Here's the back of the motor. This one does have a cord wrap on it, which is nice. And uh, has a three-prong grounded cord. So this is definitely not by any means a crappy fan. It's just not the same as the old ones are, obviously. These from the 90s were all made in the USA. With a spe you know, pretty much any of these with this style of blade were, were made in the USA. Um, obviously, this one draws quite a bit less power. Uh, let me move over to this one. From I believe this one's from 1994. One difference I'll just point out right now is this one has a, uh, a stand that comes apart, which is good if you're like shipping it or something. I guess, but um, now yeah, let's take a look at this one now. You can see this one's much thicker, and the blades have a lot more pitch on them than that one does. The motor is huge compared to that one, it is a 2.4 amp Macmillan PSC motor. The capacitor is in this uh, little housing in the back. It's three speeds and it blows a ton of air. And these uh, PSC Macmillan motors tend to last forever because um, I've mentioned this in another video, but my uh, schools that I went to had the stand versions of these HV18s and they had the same motor and they were just run constantly and never oiled or cleaned. And they kept on running, so. There's a back view of the motor. So, yeah. 
blades are steel on this one. They have a ton of paint on them on this one, unfortunately, but um, this thing is very well balanced and it runs great. So that's good. This one is a little bit off balance. I could probably fix it pretty easily. I actually had the uh, the version of this with the Samsung motor down here today. I was uh, balancing it because it was really bad. Now it's almost perfect. So, um, yep. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll start this one up. No, we'll start this one up first, actually. So let's watch the amps as it comes up to speed. And low. So it has a very nice low low speed, it's quiet. And once it stops spinning, we'll do a startup sound to high. Um, it's hard to see it right now, but it has oil ports on it, like you would expect from one of these motors. So that's pretty nice. And here we go up to high. I'll do it for the one from 94. Let's move over to this one now. Oh, and I forgot to mention the uh, old one also has a, a grounded cord. Now we're going to test this one. I should mention that the airflow on that one is insane. It's incredibly powerful. So let's go ahead and start this one up on high. Well, watch the amp draw as it's coming up to speed. It does have a little bit of a vibration to it, like I mentioned before, but it's blowing a pretty good amount of air. It really is uh, not bad. It definitely doesn't blow as much air as that one does, but um, it's not bad by any means. So yeah, it's got a much smaller motor, it's much lighter, it's thinner, but it's still a decent fan. Um, doesn't necessarily, uh, how should I say this, it's not obviously not as good as this one but it's not horrible by any means so that will about do it for this video thank you for watching